the insurance industry, for instance, expands quite rapidly. Uh, do you think that there needs to be certain changes structurally in, the, in, the, in this industry so that you could perhaps grow faster? No, first of all, I think uh, we don't need any changes. <laughs> Uh, that I'm very clear about. Sure. The immediate challenge is nothing other than holding hands with the customer who is sitting on his asset allocation in both equity. And if we were to go by the last 30, 40 days, where you've seen some sort of pushback on returns, even in the fixed income market, and there are concerns about uh, emanating from the currency and so on, some of the macro stuff that's happening, and much of it is happening globally. Mm. And I think this is the time, immediate sort of concern mm. that how we stand up both as manufacturers and distributors in just communicating with customers and telling them why they need to be perseverant, why they need to sort of stick to their asset allocation, the goals that they want their plans to sort of deliver, and communicate <coughs> as clearly about what we all can understand. Mm. It's not very simple. You can't just kind of get very prophetic and say exactly this is what's going to happen and this is exactly how QV3 is going to taper and that's going to be the outcome. Mm. Let's face it, these are very difficult challenges and a lot of very talented people in this industry are still burning the midnight oil to understand it. Mm. But having said that, we are duty bound to communicate. Mm. Communicate what we understand, communicate what the customer will, will, give, will give him comfort. When somebody is not well, you have bad weather, what do you go to the doctor for? You Because you want some comfort. Mm. You want to know that you'll be fine. Yes, there is a, some pushback. What we think is happening? how we think it might unfold, what are the pros and cons, and most importantly, what do you have to do? I mean, how do you manage risk? I think for me, this business is as much about managing risk as generating good investment returns. And sometimes, it, I must tell you what you heard from Nimesh and what you hear from global investors who come and ask our investment performance and how. Mm. You'll be surprised to know that in many conversations, they tell us that the star person they're looking for should also be in the risk function. Mm. While nobody ever in India asks us about how we manage risk. Mm. So I think this is about how we are delivering risk adjusted returns. Mm. There just cannot be one way view of what only returns are. Mm. And that can view cannot be as short as one year and 18 months and so on. So I think for us right now, we cannot be sitting here talking that next three and five years are going to be good. We have to address what customers are thinking today. What is he thinking from the newspaper, what he's read in the newspaper today and yesterday? And we've got to give him a credible answer about what we think is unfolding and what he should do in the current environment. I think we need to do that. Sandesh? I think it's communication is key because, you know, I mean, let's face it. Uh, uh, see, we have a unique uh, uh, structure of Indian capital markets where I, one end of the capital market comprises of the exchanges, brokers, and the customers, mm -hmm. where the entire economics of that model is driven by churn. Mm -hmm. On the other end are people like us who are saying that, please stay for long because that's how you create wealth. Sure. Right? Two, uh, let's face it, if you, had, if you had invested at the peak of the market every year for the last 15 years, mm -hmm. you still make, and you are not got out of the market. If you had every year you invested in the market, crashed, for the last 15 years, you still make 11% plus return, mm. which is a statistics. Now, how do we communicate that to the customer? Saying that, look, don't look at uh, short-term movements, gyrations of the market. Mm. Look at asset allocation, look at long-term, and that's the kind of return that uh, you market delivers. You're participating in, in the India growth. It's very sad that perhaps you have more investors mm. from outside India through their pension funds who have participated in India story sure. than local investors. And sure. the only way is we make this continuous communication and do our job right as fund managers and stick to our asset allocations as given as given in our offer documents. Sure. The way I look at it, the, the whole communication piece can be done with, uh, it won't happen with advertisements and all. It will happen with the number of distributors increasing in this country. Number of distributors now, uh, if there are only 20,000 people distributing to 1.2, 120 crore people, it is not going to reach anywhere. Right. So till we increase the number of distribution, that is one of the biggest challenge for communication, for everything that is a challenge. Forget communication, even for selling, or what will 20,000 people do in the market. Mm. Second, the thing is that I get very worried if uh, something that I continuously look at my end is the credit. What is happening on the credit side? Uh, is the industry having the expertise to take the kind of credit that the industry is taking today? Sure. Right. So that is uh, even the 44th AMC. I'm not worried. Uh, <laughs> is everybody's credit uh, capability 
uh, up the curve. Mm. That is from the industry point of view, I am not worried on the equity side, I am worried more on the debt side, whether the credit that has been taken by this industry, do we have the expertise to take that credit. Right. Uh, and th what I am looking at is, if this industry has to grow, uh, and as I said, more serious players are required. As the more serious players, everything else will follow. All right. That's all. On that note, I'm going to th throw this open now to the audience. Uh, if you have any questions, please raise your hand, and we'll send the mic, mic across. The gentleman in the center, please. Uh, while most of the gentlemen agreed that uh, advisors have a big role to play in getting the industry forward, I have a very basic question. We find that the thresholds or the entry barriers are getting lower and you're trying to just increase the number of uh, distributors or advisors will not surely help the industry. You're going to have quality of advisors getting worse and only distribution of product will only take this industry from uh, bad to worse. So I think you need to have higher entry barriers so that good quality of people come in and give good advice. <coughs> That's a good thought. What you're saying is, <coughs> sorry, pardon me. You're talking about having serious distributors. Yeah. So, yeah, in a way that's right. I mean, it's not numbers. The number is relevant because just the, to reach the length and breadth of the country, we need more people who talk this product. And it generally, when you have more people talk about mutual funds, it increases. A I, I know I speak on behalf of all of them, are very keen to understand how we can use this two basis points invest education fund in the best high impact possible manner. And I think our eyes and ears are very open to suggestions how we can use it. Uh, and being of course compliant with what regulators want us to use it.
and then at the whenever they need the money they can always move it bigger because they'll always get they are getting more returns in a liquid fund than a bank so again it's a question of communication yes sir the gentleman right here जैसे अभी हमने कहा था कि देयर इज अ ह्यूज ह्यूज स्कोप इन म्यूचुअल फंड इंडस्ट्री लेकिन अभी भी एवरी यूथ वांट्स टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर और इंजीनियर व्हाई नॉट ही वांट्स टू बिकम एन आई एफ ए टाइम्स आर चेंजिंग आई डोंट थिंक एवरीबॉडी देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस वेयर देयर इज नो देयर आर नो बट थिंक टॉक टू एनी पर्सन हु पास्ड हिज 10 प्लस 2 ही वांट्स टू बिकम एन आई एफ ए इंजीनियर और डॉक्टर again i'm saying times when financial consultancy will become a good profit kahin na kahin to unke man mein hitch hai na ki hame pata nahi isme hamara future kya hai nahi aisa to nahi hai mujhe nahi lagta aisa hai there are a lot of people who are taking actually i don't think ha i i don't think we will want to become doctors and engineers anymore because there are so many new avenues today that you'd find yes sir even one of the economist which i met a few years back he said ki 80s mein aap picture dekhte the hero hota tha inspector aur wakil उसके बाद आप 90s में देखते थे हीरो होता था डॉक्टर आने वाले दिनों में आपको जो फिल्म का हीरो मिलेगा वो मिलेगा इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सपर्ट एनालिस्ट शायद दिल चाहता है मैं हमने देखा है वन ऑफ द हीरो वाज इन्वेस्टमेंट ब्रोकर एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर तो ऐसा नहीं है द थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग लॉट मनी पीपल यंग जनरेशन पीपल लाइक मी एंड अदर आई हैव सीन दे आर गेटिंग इन टू द इंडस्ट्री मोर अवेयर मोर लर्नड मोर स्किल्ड तो अब तो थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग So if you, if you if you're happy about being in the movie is very good uh that gentleman right there in the back Shall I you Yeah yeah please I've got time for one more question please In fact when we uh, talk of investment return the market would have given a higher return but if you look at re investors return they're not as high hmm. that we name as behavior gap Similarly in terms of the opportunity size is fairly huge but somehow we are not able to milk that opportunity mm -hmm. that gap i would say it's like a communication gap mm -hmm. now there was a very welcome move from sebi sides to create financial awareness and literacy and there was some allocation been made but somehow uh, we are poor executors of great ideas one i feel uh, secondly uh, we are targeting investors uh, here whereas he invests from here what i mean to say is that all our communications are left brain oriented whereas investment decisions are more right brain oriented and there is actually where the communication gap really lies is the industry working towards addressing these challenges uh, i'm not very sure about which part of the brain is getting used <laughs> but uh, and whether the heart is more relevant or the head i don't know what my colleagues think i think he should invest with his head only and not his heart he should not get emotional emotionally sort of inclined towards any product or an asset allocation so i think that's exactly what we look up to distributors to do right? when, when there is another point that maybe what you might be referring to whether we are addressing his life stage issues whether we can say that this is a retirement fund or whether this is so that's where the investors come in this are the pro that's where i felt that the huge gap for the mutual fund industry is the mutual fund industry has got beautiful sanitized products according to me they are very good for the final customer i am very happy investing i am happy investing even my father's money into mutual funds but the communication to the final customer how do we make it so that is where the number of advisors uh, should be much more than what they are today and that is what the industry should that part we should concentrate as investment managers we should not be concentrating on marketing that is the strength of the industry we should be completely investment focus our job is to invest the money properly reaching that message to the customer should be done through advisors rather than we trying to do it directly that's where one final question i have time for one final question please uh, the gentleman right here hi i am i am an ex banker turn into uh, advisors in For years, I have seen a lot of focus on the IFA in terms of its responsibility, the aware, creating awareness. You know, the the quality is models of operandi, but not of lot of things now not happening at the banking levels. You know, the, the any anybody who gets into a job, the money goes it to a bank, 
and the bank people are operating uh, you know approaching the customers and selling like anything so they are not creating any awareness but nothing is happening on the banking side all focus is on ifas 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 why not they are a partner of creating an awareness in in the investment side in why is it so? can, uh, see i think the one big change which has happened is this employee unique identification number i think one will be able to then identify uh, how what has been the performance at a particular uin level um, i think uh, 